English tenses. Lesson number 10. Future continuous tense. The future continuous tense is used to describe actions or events that will be happening at a specific time in the future. It emphasizes the ongoing nature of the action. This tense is formed by using the auxiliary verb will be followed by the present participle ing form of the main verb. Now, let's take a closer look at the structure and examples of positive, negative, and question sentences in the future continuous tense. In positive sentences, we use the auxiliary verb, will be, followed by the present participle ing form of the main verb. Examples I will be studying for my exam tomorrow. She will be cooking dinner at 7 p.m. They will be traveling to Paris next month. The team will be playing a football match on Saturday. We will be celebrating my birthday at a restaurant. In negative sentences, we use the auxiliary verb will not, won't, before be in the present participle ing form of the main verb. Examples I won't be attending the meeting tomorrow. She will not be working late tonight. They won't be going to the party on Saturday. He will not be participating in the competition. We won't be watching TV this evening. In question sentences, we invert the subject and the auxiliary verb, will, and, be, comes after the subject. The present participle ing form of the main verb follows, be. Examples Will you be studying for your exam tomorrow? Will she be attending the conference next week? Will they be coming to the party on Friday? Will he be playing the guitar at the concert? Will we be going on vacation this summer? To recap, the future continuous tense is used to describe ongoing actions or events that will happen at a specific time in the future. Positive sentences consist of, will be, plus the present participle of the main verb, negative sentences use, will not, won't plus, be, plus the present participle, and question sentences start with, will, plus the subject plus, be, plus the present participle. Now, it's time to practice and incorporate the future continuous tense into your conversations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.